What's good YouTube, it's your man BG Tech Life, and today I got the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra on deck. And what we need to talk about, guys, is the foldables are upon us. Samsung will have an unpacked event in like July, and we'll get the Flip 6, and we'll get the Fold 6. So we need to talk about what's going to happen in the future, and my switching from the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra to the Fold 6, and things of that nature. So let's get into it. Okay, YouTube, so if you've been watching the channel, I've had the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra since it dropped. I pre-ordered it, and I've really taken a liking to this device, guys. I've really deep-dived into this device and feel at home with this device. There's a lot of things that this device offer that keep me picking it up and me wanting to use this as my daily driver. Um, I mean, of course, everybody knows about the performance of this device, Coming from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, of course you can do whatever you want, the game and the video editing, whatever, I said that a lot, blah, 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 and the camera system. Now, there are some take backs on the camera system as far as the post-processing go, and that go to across all Samsung devices that I've been using lately. I feel like Samsung could work on post-processing better, but at the same time, I really like the five times telephoto lens on this device. I feel like it takes really great pictures, gets really good images, and I just like it for product shots a lot. I've never really used telephoto lenses primarily to take certain pictures, but on this S24 Ultra, I've started doing that because I've really taken to that lens and I really see the value in telephoto lenses. Now, moving on, also, with this 200 megapixel main sensor, the zoom is incredible. And I'm not looking for space zoom, no, no, no. I'm not looking, I'm not trying to take a picture of the moon and then argue if it's AI or not. I like to shoot video and sometimes zoom in. And when you zoom in on this video, I mean, five times, 10 times zoom on this video, you still getting really, really quality video. And I like that a lot about this camera, guys. So we know the Fold 6 is upon us, guys. We know the Flip 6 is upon us and the Fold 6. Now, I've been a bit drawn back by everything that I've been hearing about the Fold 6, especially the fact that it's going to have the same camera system as the Fold 5. Now, I had a Fold 5, and I can utilize that camera system and things of that nature, but now I've been spoiled with variety now that I've been actually putting it to use. And I would like more than that three times telephoto, and I would like a stronger main sister than that 50 megapixel main sister because a foldable device Price is going to cost anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000, which is ridiculous if you're not getting the best sensors that a smartphone company has to offer. So with that being said, it would be hard for me to put down my S24 Ultra and start daily driving the Z Fold 6 because I've been losing out on a lot of the camera features that I like. Another very big deal to me is the S Pen. I love the S Pen on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and I like the fact that it's in my device. So that makes it very convenient. At the drop of a dime, I can either take a note, I could wanna write something down, I can take a phone number, and it's not a second thought to me, where is my S Pen? I can pull out my S Pen, blink screen will pop up, and I could jot down whatever. When it comes to the Z Fold 6, and it's still not coming with the S Pen, it doesn't come with the S Pen, and also you can't keep that, you can't store the S Pen in a device. At that price point, it should come with a stylus for free. I shouldn't be buying anything else once I buy the, a Z Fold device. I bought Z Fold devices before, and you feel cheated with the lack of accessories and the lack of an S Pen in a box having to go out and swipe your card again for one more thing seems a bit ridiculous. And on top of that, just not having it inside the device. A lot of times with my Z Fold 5, as much as I like using my S Pen with my Z Fold 5, the S Pen for the Z Fold 5 will go missing because it's not natively in a device. And yes, they do have cases that hold your S Pen and things of that nature, but I really don't like those cases. I'm a guy that like minimal carbon fiber cases, airman fiber cases. If you watch the channel, you know. So I'm not really into buying a big bulky case to keep the S Pen in just so I can keep track of it or keep it in a bag or keep it in my pocket and possibly break it. I just find that the fact that the Z Fold 6 not coming with an S Pen 
and still not having a silo for as pen is just too big of a drawback to me because I find that so convenient on my S24 Ultra. The Z Fold 6 seems like it's coming out lacking major things that I love about my S24 Ultra. So currently at this time, I can't see me switching from my S24 Ultra to a Z Fold 6. Even if it was a straight out switch, you trade in your S24 Ultra and get the Z Fold 6 for free, I just couldn't do it. It's just too many things I like about the S24 Ultra as a device that don't seem like it's going to be on the Z Fold 6. So right now as I'm sitting here, the Z Fold 6 is just coming with some structural changes, some size changes, things of that nature, and I'm not really interested. As far as I'm concerned, Samsung is really treating the Z Fold 6 like a tablet. They making some structural differences, but as far as some of the best hardware that they putting on smart devices, they're not doing it. Just like Apple doesn't put their best sensors on the iPad. So for now, the S24 Ultra is staying in pocket. It's your boy BG Tech Life. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. I'm out. Peace.